Yeah. All right. Welcome to Dexter Act. We're going to do the current walkthrough of the new, of our current facility down here in Weistown, Indiana. Give you a quick tour of the operation. We got the inventory guys over here. I want to say good morning. Hi. Hello. Hi. Say hi to everybody. We got Mike in his office. If I can get the camera to pan. I'll be back. All right. Let's head out to the warehouse. We've got our initial wall of, let me see if I can pan around here, of uh, our cantilever zip up, which then leads down the aisles of, of decking. Aisles and aisles of decking. Coming around to, we do all of our photography here in Indiana for all the small parts. Uh, so the door over there with uh, the leftover stuff from Halloween. It's where we do all the photography. We've got a box there that uh, can control all the lighting and aspects of it. Uh, as we kind of come in off to the side, this is our mainly our supplies and uh, non-inventory type products that uh, uh, we that we bring in and use for material supply, uh, which then leads into where what will be the future home of returns and and currently receiving. So some of the stuff that's in here now is stuff that's getting returned to vendors, but we're here at the end of the day, so the receiving's completely clear. They've received everything in and put it all the way in into uh, its slots. We're gonna come up on uh, the shelving. So all small parts are put along the shelving and Everything's stored with barcodes and specific uh, bin locations throughout the, the racks and the, the uprights. So products like hardware and small post caps, lighting fittings uh, is a great example of products that stay in here. Uh, so, like, this is some decor lights and, um, all right, aisles and aisles and aisles of deck stuff. We're going to come up upon small parcel. So, at the end of the day, we've got all of our racks with the, the bins located. So, they'll come in in the morning, so they'll have, uh, a handheld or a, a sheet that'll have 10 orders that have all the the products that they need to get in the bins that they're going to go into they'll head out to uh, uh, throughout the warehouse and pick waves of, of orders they all come back into this area where they get QA'd they get put up into uh, this kind of corner slot when it's a little bit bigger than what they can kind of see and they'll they'll measure out the the size of the package once uh, it's entered into that computer right there it will go right into the pack size machine and make the custom box so they'll just put in the three digits uh, down to an eighth of an inch and then uh, out comes the box they seal the box bring the products run it back down the lines for uh, for packaging and for for shipping so normally this would be running kind of full-time Anything that's above 36 inches uh, is going to go over here into our long parcel where slight, or very similar as far as entering the dimensions, but is the products are going to get wrapped in cardboard versus the products being put into a box. Uh, it makes for a really, really clean, tight box that uh, is going to be safe along the, the journey to the customer. Then we get into LTL, which is a completely different uh, animal than uh, our small and long parcel. We, uh, we keep a lot of different sizes of pallets uh, in order to accommodate everything from eight feet up to 16 feet up. This is an example of some of the decking products that, uh, that are going out to customers. So as you can see, they close off one end of the, the pallet. They wrap everything. What you can't see here is the, the products go on the pallet, 
they banned the products themselves and then banned again the the cardboard and the units to the the pallets. So it's basically double banded so that if one of the outside bands breaks or is hit with a forklift, uh, the products are still bound tight to each other and they won't slide off. So if you're in customer service or support and you've seen some pictures of what product looks like and it doesn't look good when it gets to a customer, it's not because it looked bad when it left. This stuff is tight and clean and, and neat uh, going to the customer. Railing products. So this is uh, what looks like a whole bunch of wild hog with Trex railing on top of it. Uh, nice, neat, bound, wrapped and uh, ready to go out to a customer. Oop, unfortunately, this is a red ticket item. <laughs> so this looks like we're sending something back out for the second time. This is our, uh, what they refer to as a 4D forklift. So it goes in uh, four grip dimensions, as far as forward, backwards, and then right and left. This is where they'll stack uh, product, uh, waiting to go out for the following day. Got some smaller stuff that uh, probably didn't make the, the cut on a truckload today, so that'll end up going out tomorrow. And just kind of give you a little example going down LTL. As we come around the backside of the facility, this is our auto stack, so everything that comes in via units that is 12 feet or 16 feet. Once they've broken a unit, it gets stored and put away within this system. So the system has basically open bays with rollers, uh, giant bearings on these rollers that can accommodate several thousand pounds of, of material being rolled back into that cavity. The additional piece to the system is uh, back there by that forklift where they can they bring that out with another forklift to load the decking pallet or framing pallet on top of there and then that machine pushes it into uh, the bay or they can do it in reverse where they can pull it out onto that machine and pick from it and they can also uh, we've got a second level that they can operate from the mezzanine so coming down the back side just to show you the, the rows and aisles of decking. Uh, we're currently still stocking all colors of treks in uh, pretty much every size and skew with the exception of the 20 footers. Going down kind of one of the main aisles. Uh, so everything from, there's some of our G tape to balusters uh, to fortress lighting and trucks railing and it's just a whole mix of of products throughout the facility now where we used to consolidate a lot of materials uh, to one area now we we separate them in order to uh, be a little bit more effective at at shipping and uh, not miss miss shipping the wrong items because of a skew differentiation so um, just kind of walk through here we've got a couple of pass through aisles for forklifts and for walking with carts to kind of come through. You can see how we have uh, the welded panels. These are fortress. So uh, those will, most of the stuff in the back side of the facility is going to be items that, that are going out on a pallet. So they'll pick these later in the days away from uh, the parcel and all the small items are located as close as we possibly can to the parcel side of the business. So there is Indiana. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick and brief tour and uh, have a wonderful day.